Spinal muscular atrophy is caused by a defect in production of the protein called SMN. Our approach to treat spinal muscular atrophy is to find small molecule drugs that would restore the production of the SMN protein that would help the patient tissues make more SMN to get it to the normal level. So what we're looking is a small molecule drug that a patient can take via mouth orally that would go to the target tissues, such as the brain, the muscle, and maybe other organs, and restore the SMN production in those organs. The approach we take to find such molecules is drug discovery and development. We started with a large collection of diverse compounds, diverse small molecules, and we screened them in a simplified reporter system in cell culture. Following that, we tested these compounds in cells from SMA patients and cells that resemble uh, SMA patient cells. So this is done in petri dishes in vitro. Subsequent to that, we are optimizing these molecules for activity and availability in the mouse model. So in addition to activity against SMN in cells, we would like these molecules to go to the animal tissues, such as the brain and the muscle, and we would like to monitor their activity there. We also want these molecules to be safe because it's important not only to restore the SMN production, but do so in a, in a safe and tolerable manner. Once we identify molecules that work in the animals, we can proceed to test these molecules in patients in clinical trials. So right now, we're at a stage where we have solid activity in cells, in petri dishes, and we are moving rapidly into testing these molecules in animal models. We are very excited about this research. It's going in the right direction, and we hope to update you soon. And thank you for your support for Fight SMA. Your support makes my research, my work possible.